How's it going, everybody? I've had several questions in the past couple of weeks about how many plastics do I actually go through because somebody noticed that I throw a lot of plastic worms, and uh, it actually raised, um, you know, a really good question to how many do I go through? And I never really stop to think about it because I usually have a huge supply. I buy them in bulk when I can. I'll go to the store and buy, you know, 20 or 30 packs at one time to last me most of the season. But um, one thing I wanted to say is there's a way to make your plastics last a little bit longer. Now this, this method only works if the fish are not finicky. If they're picky and they have a particular bite that they want, like if they want a 10 inch power worm and that's what they want, this won't work. Or if they want say an 8 inch uh, trick worm, that's what they want. Or if they want a little 5 inch Cinco, that's what they want. But when the fish are not finicky and they eat whatever you put in front of them, either they're just on a reaction bite or they're just eating whatever, this will work for you guys and save you a ton of money. It's a super simple fix as far as making your plastics last longer and getting more out of your bait. But as many of you know, when you buy a power worm, it's a 10 inch power worm. Well, you catch a couple fish on it and before you know, the fish is ripped you know you're starting to rip right here but a lot of times where your keeper is it'll rip off like that and you end up with a worm that looks like this well there's an easy fix to that and this is what I do on the water and I, I know it sounds silly but all you do take bite off a quarter inch and you've got fresh plastic right there and you're gonna have fresh plastic for where you put your hook in so you feed it through you go through like that, hook it on, go in, and now everywhere you just were is all fresh plastic and you can reuse this worm again and again and it's good to go for probably another three or four fish like that, bite a quarter inch off, work your way down. I've thrown a power worm all the way down until it was literally just the tail. As silly as this sounds, when the fish are just eating and I've caught bigger fish on smaller baits by working my way down like this but just like that and that is a great bait to throw when you're flipping docks with a little quarter ounce weight it works all it is make a tail now that's to the extreme usually I'll go down till it's about an, roughly a seven and a half inch worm but I have caught them all the way down to there when it's my last worm of that color and I know they want a particular color. Now the same goes for your shaky heads. So when you're throwing like a trick worm on a shaky head, so you thread your shaky head on, or you thread your worm on the shaky head, and you catch a few fish, and then one rips it right off. And you no longer can thread it in on the top. Bite a quarter inch off, thread it back on, just like that. Not only are you finding fresh plastic to screw your screw lock in, you're also moving your hook down farther and getting fresh plastic for your shaky head. So you're all set to go there and you can catch several more fish. Now this is a technique that I use on a regular basis. I, when, when they're in a feeding mood, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you really put in their face. As long as it's the color they want, they're going to attack it and eat it. Now, there are times when it, they're finicky and they want that 10 inch power worm or they want a 7 inch power worm or an 8 inch trick worm. I mean, that's just that's when it happens and that's what you have to do. But what I do, so I work this bait all the way down. I bite it down to say I make it 3 inches. It goes from an 8 inch trick worm to a 5 inch trick worm, like this. I never buy the Magnum finesse worms because right now I'm holding in my hand pretty much a Magnum finesse worm and you paid the same price as a full-size trick worm so if you buy the magnum trick worm rip three inches off you got your magnum finesse and you actually got more than what you paid for the nice thing about this is when these get worn out when i have this on my shaky head and it's worn out don't throw them away if you learn and like to wacky rig save these because these are embedded salt salted and they'll sink and you can throw these as a wacky rig and the nice thing is 
you can have a whole bag of them come springtime. After the whole summer, you throw these off, save them in a little plastic bag. Next thing you know, you have every color you can imagine ready to go to wacky rig between four to six inches long. And that saves you a ton of money. So, fishing on a budget, 101. Just bite your plastic off a quarter inch at a time, work your way down. Then save your plastic for wacky rigging in the spring when they get underneath those docks for our garden. Alright guys, that's the video for the day. You have a good one. See you next time.